if you uh, have a habit or had the habit of celebrating New Year's Eve, you know that people observe uh, New Year's Eve in a variety of ways. When I was younger, I might actually go to a New Year's Eve party with friends and celebrate with music and food and, of course, drink and fellowship. A lot of people still do that. If you're the kind of person who likes to stay at home, you might watch the festivities that are happening at Times Square in New York. I watched some of that last night. And while it's very colorful, it's also, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people standing out there in the cold waiting for a ball to drop. I'm not so sure. That's exciting. There are some who bring in the new year uh, by shooting off fireworks and sometimes even shooting off guns at midnight. I'm not sure what the attraction is in doing that. But one thing is clear, society marks the beginning of the new year with noise, lots of noise. And compare the noisy secular traditions with how the church welcomes the new year, with prayer and reflection. Many faithful Catholics will have attended Mass on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. The church encourages prayers for peace and looks to the person of Mary for modeling what it means to be peaceful, not only at the beginning of the new year, but throughout the entire year. The gospel that's given to us for this feast of Mary, the mother of God, reveals the quiet and peaceful setting of the birth of Jesus. Jesus was born in a stable, laid in a manger. Some shepherds visited him and were in awe at the sight. There were some words shared between them and Mary and Joseph about how the angel had told them about the birth of the child. And at the end of their visit, we are told that Mary kept these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Those were important words. Mary kept these things, reflecting on them in her heart. What does it mean when the gospel tells us she kept these things. It tells us that Mary did not speak. In fact, the gospel does not record a single word of hers in the entire Christmas story. Mary has a quiet and peaceful response to all that is happening. She doesn't cry out in joy at the birth of her child. She doesn't run to her friends to celebrate. She remains with her newborn son the infant Jesus, recognizing that she is in the presence of a great mystery. Should Mary's silence surprise us? Should we think it odd that she was so peaceful and reflective? No, because after all, she knew what it meant to practice silence, to listen to the voice of God. And when she heard the voice of God speaking to her heart, she kept it there and reflected on its meaning. Knowing this, we can easily imagine her holding her newborn child in the quiet of the stable with Joseph close by her side. This is the peaceful image, the reflective image that we are given at the beginning of the new year. So Mary kept these things. She reflected on them. Her silence and her peaceful demeanor speak eloquently about her faith and her trust in the presence of God, even in the face of the great events that were unfolded all around her. I think Mary's silence tells us that if we want to appreciate the mystery of Christ's presence among us, then we need silence 